<clears throat> Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. KJ Vlog, you're following the PGA Tour with me today, where I'm going to be running my character through my career. Just to get you up to date, I went through the Q School, played my first PGA tournament, and won it. This is my second PGA tournament, and we are in the final round today. I believe I have a two-stroke lead. EA Sports, in we'll association see. with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx <laughs> Cup. Today, it's live final round coverage of the BioWare Classic. Let's take a look at the scoreboard. Hello again and welcome. Rich Lauder alongside my colleague Frank Navalo for EA Sports. Oh, well, Getting set five. to go at the Wetlands Golf and Country Club. We're located along the St. Johns River <laughs> in the great state of Florida. As you see, my uh, Sunday clothes there that I'm using, solid white. In this game, I don't know if you, for people who have played it or not played it, you know, you can change based on day one, two, three, four, you can set up your outfits. Uh, usually on days one and two, I take it kind of lax. Maybe I'll shoot, with, you know, wear some uh, shorts maybe even a tank top, maybe even something kind of weird, really bright colors. When it comes uh, to Sunday on my final round though, I usually dress up pretty good. Plain white's not normally what I do. I usually, you know, Tiger Woods wears his red collar shirt and black with the black hat. And, and of course, as the more tournaments you play, you unlock more clothing. So here we go off with round one. We have a five-stroke lead. We should come up with a victory today. Ah, uh, nice. Looks good. And then we move on to the next tournament. Anxious to see where that's at. Frank, not overly long, but still a pretty good spot and in the fairway. Yeah, that's in that 280 mark. And now the second shot here at this par five. Of course, the par five. Gonna aim a little towards that bunker, bunker there to get a good angle. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. 154, uphill three feet. Just a little tips right off so that you guys know how I aim. See up here it says 154 yards to the hole. Can I show it better up here? Let's see, where's my zoom button? You can see, if I put it right on the hole, 154 and it's three feet up. Now, obviously, the higher the hill goes up, you have to hit it higher and longer because the elevation goes up, which means your ball is going to land earlier because it's kind of like if you're sitting on the kitchen floor and you're playing with a ball. Frank, when you, you look at great rivalries in sports, you realize that athletes yeah, yeah, yeah. need each other. Joe Frazier needed Muhammad Ali to achieve greatness, to achieve yeah. legendary status. And in yeah. golf, Tom Watson needed Jack Nicklaus to push him to another level. And also to define an era. Uh, without one, we couldn't think of the 80s or the 90s or the 2000s or the 2010s. You need those players to define that era. So you need competition. Competition is not without rivalry. Just a case of a hole suiting the player's eye. Made the birdie yesterday, and he has a good chance to make another one today. Well, I'll explain that a little bit today? later. Better later. See here, it's down, downhill. So you got to move the arrow down. Looks like it might break a little to the right, but not much. Give it a good solid hit. Frank, oh, he took broke plenty of left. time on this birdie putt. He what looked at heck? it from three different angles. He forgot but, one very important ingredient. Yeah, pace. You can definitely fall in love with the line, even with approach shots as well. But obviously, we see it more on putting. Was that a bogey? I want a bogey, was it? Now Did the job right there. If we made pars throughout the this second, whole round, par three, we should be able to yards. win the championship. 
Another oh, good swing, and it three. looks like, Frank, another really good shot. Out of adjusting my loft. Well, that one didn't work that. out. It didn't look bad in the air. It hit the green, but didn't sit. Yeah, it was never going to stop. Chance to set himself up for a good scoring opportunity with his second shot here. Okay, now, little teaching here. You see you have your little pitch shot that you're going to hit to the green there. When it hits the green, it's going to roll. So don't aim at the flag. That means it's going to land at the flag, and then it's going to roll, and it's going to end up all the way back here. Put your marker on the flag, and then go down and aim where you want it to roll from. So about halfway. You're not going to hit it hard, but watch it roll. You like this one, Frank? Oh, it's a good one. Safely on. Shouldn't be a problem here. Level. Yeah. That about KJ. He'll take par and move on. There's three guys when you create your guy that Fairly you can straight make forward him. par four now. The third at the wetlands is 460 yards straight away. You can give it him a background. 460 yards. Uh, it can Stop be chopped talking. down a lot of different ways. 300-yard tee shot, and it's only 160. But if you're a mere mortal, 280, 180, the hole becomes that much longer, that much harder. Anyway, you can be a phenom, which is like a young teenage kid who's just coming out of college is awesome. You could be a... Um, a middle-aged golf pro who basically has spent his middle years like on a driving course giving golf lessons, which is what I chose. And then you have like the old wise guy who's been around forever. He's like a veteran, but he's older. So he's wise. He knows the game. He probably doesn't hit it as far, but he's smart. I chose the, uh, the golf teacher. So that's what I'm at. Oh, that's fine. They'll be pretty happy with that 290 yard poke off the tee. Chance to get it close here. I can get this. Let's see, what's that wind say? Or the lie, I mean. I can't read it. Up three feet, is that what that says? And with the wind, the slope, I think I'm just going to aim it right here. Maybe put a little nano loft. Go! Safely aboard. Par yesterday, now for birdie. Look straight. It's gonna break a little bit. Oh, broke more than I thought. Very well done, almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress right. for the next one. This one just requires a little bit of focus. No bogeys, no bogeys. He's made it. Four stroke lead. And we pick up action at Rose. the fourth. So oh, up to this no, point, Frank, three. our featured golfer has been holding steady. Posturing, you might want to say there. But you can only posture for so long. I'm going to have to see a spark pretty soon. Otherwise, there's going to be too much to catch up. I'm going to try this. I'm hitting a driver, but I've got the loft up as far as it'll go. Don't know what's going to happen. In the direction of the sand. It looks Bounce like out. It. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Somehow that managed to miss the bunker, Frank. Yeah, that looked like it was sand for sure. Birdie here yesterday. This putt again for Birdie. I'm trouble. I'm having trouble seeing the screen right now. Looks like it's breaking. Looks fairly straight, right? Uh... 
Get in there. Beautiful roll on that move right in the bottom. Good look now at the fifth hole here at the wetlands. Par five, and it's a good one. 635 yards. Well, of course, another par five. Every hole's par five with a par three in between. Oh, nice little bounce forward. Should be close to 300, 290. You know, okay, I'm curious. Okay, second shot now at this par five. Let's look at our scorecard. Okay. Par fours. There's only two par fours on the front nine. It goes five, three, four, three, five, four, five, three, five. And there are four par fours on the back nine. Three, four, five, four, three, five, four, three, four. So they took out a par five. How many par fives are there? One, two, three, four on the front nine, five, six all together. The total scoring average is 72. Now I hate this. I have to go around these trees. Let's just go safe. I did a little draw. Get over. It'll be all right. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this yeah. is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Oh. Oh, can't hide the flag stick from that man. Oh. Ow, sorry. Frank going for another birdie here. Just to get on a real roll. Oh, yeah. I got this tournament, baby. Oh, yeah, he's made it for a birdie. Still five up on Will McGirt. On to the par four sixth here at the wetlands. And Frank, how does that water factor right, into the, the way wind. you play this hole? We it can bisects make it. this fairway we beautifully can make it. rich. Uh, 233 yards to the run out on the first section of fairway. And that might be worth considering for the short hitters. To try and flash it across the narrowest part of those wetlands, 276 yards. And of course, the more horsepower you got, Actually, the easier this tee shot becomes. Second shot. Good look at the green. 146, up nine. Wind to the left. Should I go up a whole club? And a little loft. Well, this one should be safely Stick. on deck here. Stick. On the dance floor here at the sixth. It's probably be a par. Still a pretty hard putt coming up about 30 feet away coming off a of bogey here yesterday chance to make it right got this for birdie i knew it broke you couldn't right. ask for much more than that except to make it didn't fare too well on this hole yesterday made a bogey Simple, solid, and he'll take it. But one that you need to make. Frank, now we get a crack at another par five. The seventh is 592 yards. And certainly reachable, especially with a tee shot that follows the shape of this fairway, which is par slightly five. to the left. Good tee shot, you can get home. And those bunkers, if anything, are nicely uh, placed on that left side of the green, actually to protect a shot that goes too far or too left. Playing his second shot here at the par five. Trying to need my spin, spin it up to the green.
settles in, looking to knock it in tight. On the green, and looking at a birdie opportunity. Getting set now over the putt. Missed on that one, Frank. Yeah, not a problem. Could use this, a putt for par. Just dwindling the holes down. Pars are fine right now. On to the eighth, it's a par three, 203 yards. What's going on here, Frank? Interesting par three, really. It, it, it looks anything other than a straightaway hole. That bunker short of this green gives you like an optical illusion. You think it's lapping up with the front of this green, but there's actually you know, sort of three or four yards before you get to the putting surface. Um, a little bit of a drop off behind this green, and it narrows out the deeper the green gets. So uh, a tricky little par three. No problems there. Really good approach shot. And now, good look at birdie. Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. Wow, he got robbed, Frank. No, it's like kissing your mother-in-law. Just a tap in to finish like the kissing hole. Kissing my mother-in-law. Did the job right there. <laughs> Still four strokes up. Headed to Frank, the ninth hole. Looking at hole. this par five ninth hole, it's 621 yards. I need to make birdie here. What's the best way to go about it? Well, if you're a long hitter, then there's a chance you can reach this par five and two, Rich. But really the best way to make birdie here, good tee shot, and then contemplate the layup. In between the first two bunkers, there's a nice section of fairway. And that's not going to leave you much in for that third shot to a green that's very receptive. So really, birdie can be made the hard way. Wedge and a putt. Ready for his third shot. Needs uh, to hit this yes, close. Another par five. Should be able to make a birdie here. Get it in there close. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. Chance to close out the front side here with I'd a birdie. Make that. Oh, that was nasty. That's an outrage right there. I mean, if there's a high commission of, of golfdom, we need to consult them right now because it's just simply not fair, Frank. It's not. I think the people above are frowning on the people below. That is a solid par putt. Setting up to start the back nine here, and if it's anywhere near as good as the front nine, Frank Hill will be very happy with his score at the end of the day. Yeah, the hardest thing right now is to just keep doing the same thing without focusing on the score. Frank, how did he do there? Well, he's inside 30 feet, but uh, 27 feet, that's eh, not exactly what you'd call close. Settles in over the putt. That may have been a bit too much to ask for there, that distance putt, Frank. Yeah, it's fine to be greedy before you hit the putt, but after you've hit it, two from that distance is fine. What hole are we on? 
Okay, no problem with that one. We're on the 11th. Par 4 11th? Frank, we're looking at we're only up by three yards. Yeah, the Wetlands Golf Course is a really good driving course. This is another example here, Rich, where the fairway is just wide enough to reward a good tee shot, and then those two bunkers don't really come into play. But Wetlands becomes very difficult when you just start to stray a little bit off the fairway. Then you start to see why those bunkers are put there. Frank, not overly long, but still a pretty good spot and in the fairway. Yeah, that's in that 280 mark. <laughs> Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Straight at it, a little spin. Go. Cody try up next. Made a par in his previous round. This time, it's for birdie. What's that say? Down one foot? No, should have broke it more. Frank, that's what you want to do. Good lag putt. Yeah, they can't all go in. Not putting great today, but I'm doing all right. I'm parring. Well, Frank, he'll drop at least one what? shot here. That was uh, not his best effort. No, uh, poor is the easiest way to put that. He knows it. What? Right, in this situation, Richard, bogey's not all that bad. Still has the lead. Six holes to go. I'm up by three. So on this back nine, we started with a par three, then a par four, and now we get to a par five. The 12th is 576 yards. Yeah, nice blend of holes there that you just referenced. 11 bends to the left, consequently 12 will bend in the other direction. Good drive required. Um, from there, just setting up perhaps, uh, you know, seven iron, six iron, into a green that's sort of fairly uniform in shape and uh, should present a birdie with a good second shot. That should be good. Set me up for a birdie. Couldn't Slight even waggle, pitch it in for an eagle. Waxed arms, ready to go. Good swing, good shot yet again. Roll, roll. Early part of this back nine and a good approach shot. And now we'll have this for birdie. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. Three inches downhill. Look straight. For the most part. Maybe a click left. Why? Well, just when you thought they might pick up one. Now. Settle for a par. A makeable Should have putt clicked right a couple here. more he times. Currently sitting left. at one under par. Workmanlike hole. I'm not going to lose with a par. I'm still up by three. Final round of the BioWare Classic. Now to the par for 13th. Frank, what are the options here? Well, another straight one required here, Rich. At uh, 450, it's not overly long in today's standard, but still, that fairway widens up where the longer hitters will actually hit. And uh, bunkers, once again, short of a green. So as long as you can fly that second shot to at least the front of the green, then they really do not come into play. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good I'm chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. That is a beauty, a real beauty. These putts keep the round together. Birdie! Continues to roll bird, 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 very bird. well all day long. Good par three here at the 14th. It's a little bit more than 200 yards, Frank. And there's a bunker short. So you've got to fly that coming in there. And uh, if you do miss time one, that's when that body of water to the right really comes into play. 
Typical Floridian golf, but um, high-flying, soft-landing tee shot once again is the goal. Second shot, good look at the green. In. Oh. Another good swing, another good approach shot. Now it's that sneaky distance. Five inches uphill. Which way is it breaking? Don't do that. Cruel lip out. Clean this up with a tap. Bad news is, Frank, that's a bogey, but the good news it still has the lead. Can't afford another, though. Final par five on the back side here at the wetlands. It's 590 yards. Which is really a tempting yardage. A good tee shot, perhaps. Think of reaching the par five and two. But uh, this green, well protected by three bunkers. Two on the left side and one short right. Well, what but, do you know? Uh, hey, fortunate Another par five. five. At least that's what I was told. Another par five. Looks like he's going to have a go at it here at the par five. His second shot. Can I go over this? 298 yards? I can't make that, not with a three wood. Can, where's the pin? Pin's way over here in the left. Might be able to hit a driver and like hook it. Let's try. I'm going fancy. Here we go. I don't know what's gonna happen. No. Might as well just hit the three wood. Chance to get it close here. <coughs> oh, a bit unfortunate. Wasn't able to avoid the sand trap. Frank in a bit of trouble here at the par five, missing the green on that third shot. Yeah, just battling to make par. And this is going to be difficult. I'm going to lose another stroke. I got to win this championship, man. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Struggling a oh. bit with the flat stick and a drop shot here at the 15th hole. Makeable putt right here, currently sitting at one under for the round. <coughs> well, maybe one of the Richard, other guys lost. Oh, no, difference. he gained. He's only one stroke behind me. And Snedeker's only 16th one stroke behind him. 16th hole of the wetlands is a par four, 455 yards. Once again, another reward for a straight tee shot, uh, but this green heavily guarded by sand. So, good tee shot, um, and well, this one, you're going to have to hit one of the better iron shots required at Wetlands. Frank, it makes the game easy when you play it from the fairway. Especially when you play it from a lie like that. Chance to set himself up for a good scoring opportunity with his second shot here. See if he can get this one to drop here at the 16th for a birdie. Birdie try again here today. Oh, crap. Uh. Uh. Get in there. No. Well, there's an opportunity wasted. Too shallow. Just knocking him for a par, and let's forget about this one. Um, as the course is not about on, perfect, the breaks on the green become much more exaggerated. 
The tournament after this is the ones and the ones coming up. They get real. You really got to uh, get your putting good. I'm only up by one stroke. Seventeenth at the wetlands, par three, two hundred thirty-eight two holes yards. To go. Frank, how would you describe this hole? Well, it's a hole really that shapes up well for a nice little high draw. See the angle of the green pointing slightly to the right. Um, a nice little draw into this par three, and that'll find the nice avenue. Maybe a kick forward, 15, 20 feet left for birdie. And if you birdied 16, chance to birdie 17 as well. Uh, this looks like it's going to find the target. Frank had hit the green, but just didn't have enough backspin. But, uh, you wonder what he's thinking on that. Second shot. Get in there. Yeah! Perfect. And in the hole. What a shot. Up by two on the final hole. As long as I don't double bogey. Final hole here at the Wetlands the Golf and Country hole, Club. It's I par win. four. It's not a long one, 377 yards. There must be some trouble out there somewhere. Well, not really if you keep your wits about you. Just position the tee shot. You don't have to hit driver down here. Even a three wood's only going to leave a short on. If you hit the three wood, 250, 260 yards, do the match, it's only 120 yards left. With that, with a scoring club, try and get that inside 10, 15 feet. Finish with a birdie. But if you stray, then what? Oh, no, no. We don't think of straying on this hole. This is the last hole. Got to finish well. But I'm thinking about gators. Are there gators out there? Uh, well, there's gator on the menu. Yeah. Oh, I can't hide the flag stick from that we man. we got the tournament, boys. Just putt for the win. See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. This putt for birdie. And the win. Yeah! Good putt. Rich, it came down to just a shot or two here or there, but uh, we were treated to some amazing golf this week. Just one player standing, and that was earned, well-deserved, beautifully played. Got two equipment items, two apparel items, one attribute bonus. What did I go up in? I went up in strength and mid putting. There's the final leaderboard for the Bioware Classic. I take it down, my second championship of this PGA career. This is KJ. I'm playing on YouTube channel KJ Vlog. If you like it, Hit the subscribe button, look me up, and go back and watch all my past and present videos. I also do a life vlog along with some other gaming vlogs. But I'd appreciate your support. Hey, this is KJ. I'm signing off. Join on next time in the next golf video where we'll be continuing the career and moving on to the next tournament. Thanks, guys.